Hi you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising uh, for the weeks of February 1st through the 15th, 2017. Um, I've already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. And I want to thank all of you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing uh, to my channel. And I ask that you please continue to do so. Um... And remember, these are general readings. Um, so for private readings, you would email me to matt76 at gmail.com. And that information is in the description box uh, because uh, you may be able to relate to some of the readings and you may not. Um, but hopefully you do. Um, hopefully it resonates with you guys. Um, so the heart of the situation, I have Hierophant. Four of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Five of Cups, Three of Cups, and Five of Swords. Um, so Aquarius, uh, for the heart of the situation, I kind of feel like, I don't know, some sort of disappointment in your beliefs or... I feel like you're, you've, you've, you're learning a lot of things. You're learning some sort of major life lesson. Um, things are being revealed to you. You're listening to your intuition. You're understanding things. Um, this could have to do with either your place of work um, or someone that you look up to politically or like your boss. I feel like there's some sort of letdown. Um, some of you are dealing with the Taurus, um, Four of Pentacles, um, Capricorn, um, air signs such as, uh, Aries, uh, I'm sorry, Aries, <laughs> Libra, Aquarius, uh, such as yourself, or a Gemini. Hmm. Yeah, it's, I'm sorry, there's, um, something, I want to say resentment, but it's kind of like something, I feel like you're holding on to something. There's no movement in the relationship. I feel like, I don't know, someone is challenging you or asking for answers or fussing at you about something. Um, someone that you feel, I don't know if they're coming off too harsh or being very direct or bold. But it's like you're sticking to your beliefs or your partner is being stubborn. There's something that is just this firmness, like being firm on a decision or stuck in your ways. Not letting go of something or holding on to something. Um... So there was some sort of, I don't know, there's something that you're disappointed in or looking, still looking at the past. You might still be holding on to something that happened in the past. Maybe you disappointed yourself or your partner or your partner disappointed you. Um, I mean, I feel like there is the opportunity or if you like broke up, there's the opportunity of a re reconciliation or reconnecting or having that conversation with your partner. But you're too focused on what happened in the past that you weren't happy about. Um, I almost too kind of feel like maybe you're discovering that your religious beliefs or your spirituality is an important factor in a relationship. And there's some sort of clash with that or something. Um, or this could be your partner. I don't know. It's just like... Uh, I don't know. Something is being is is coming out. There's something that you're learning that you're just. Uh, I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I do feel like every time you try to pick yourself up and enjoy yourself, someone doesn't want to see you happy. It's like you have this hater 
and they're like, oh, look at them, or look at, uh, you mean you're having fun without me? You know, it's somebody who is bringing you down. Or there's like this third party that you're involved with. And things are just kind of gotten messy. Maybe you were able to keep it up for a while, but now things are falling apart. Um, maybe you're disappointed to find out that you were a part of a third party. But, and then also too, there's these people and, or this group of people, they're, everybody's being phony or playing games with one another and it's not making anybody feel better. So it's like, why do it? There's this coldness or this distance or, um, like trying to, I don't know. Somebody's phony. Like, I feel like one of your friends is, like, really secretly wanting you to fail. Someone in your inner circle is not trustworthy. Like, they're harboring some sort of envy. They're agreeing with envy at your success. They don't want to see you happy. So it's like you don't like to share good news because you feel, feel that you're going to... Like, they're not going to be happy for you. They're just going to be like, your happiness is their despair. Just misery loves company. Just something weird. Like, you have, like, this kind of negative energy around you. Um, I don't know why I can, these past five signs or four signs have been kind of, ugh. Um, and I'm sorry about that, you guys. Remember, though, this is temporary. Uh, you know, and it doesn't have to be for the whole two weeks. This could just be a weird element in time. Um, but I feel like you're going to learn about some sort of conflict or once you share your beliefs, it causes conflict. Like some of you are, if somebody's into traditional religion and somebody's into witchcraft or sorcery or something non-traditional and it's a conflict. Um... And I do, with these three cards right here, I do see some sort of sorcery. Uh, I would be very careful because there is a possibility that someone is doing something, trying to manipulate your will. Um, so, I mean, all you can do is pray and ask for, you know, protection from that. Um, there is this element of manipulation or someone trying to change the situation through and the way that they're doing it or going about it is not healthy though it's not positive um hmm like this the energy is not good here And here's the love triangle here is I feel like you're going to have to be make some sort of decision and involving uh, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, and that could be their sun, moon or their rising sign. Um, I feel like somebody's going to be disappointed. Like... Even though they know it's coming, these two people are aware of one another. But somebody's going to be disappointed. I feel like somebody you're going to have to let somebody down or somebody's about to let you down. And it's something because and it's, it's a divine connection that you have with this person. And you may even choose the person that you feel that you have a divine connection to. And some of you may be dealing with a twin flame. If you have, if you're already in a relationship and suddenly your someone new came into your life and disrupted everything, it's it's it is because it's divine intervention. This is, um, you know, it's time for you to learn something uh, to elevate yourself spiritually. 
Um, or if you're wondering what happened between you and your partner, it's because, you know, they, they, someone else came, a third party interfered. And as it, it sounds horrible, but at the same time, it is spiritual. Um, it's for spiritual growth is why this happened. For some of you, you're involved in a same-sex relationship. And it is a challenge. It's going against your beliefs. Um, and it's causing, you know, disagreements and arguments. Uh, and you're trying to pretend that you're someone that you're not. Or your partner is. Somebody's not ready to come out or be themselves. But you guys have this spiritual connection, maybe like never before. Um, some of you now are just having some sort of discussion. Um, these two people, they're just having a discussion about what's happening. This could be you and your best friend. And you're talking about, you know, the disappointments that you've had in life. Or you're disappointed in something that you learned about your partner. Or this is your friend sharing this with you. Um, that's another thing. Whenever these readings don't resonate, like if it's like kind of negative or sounding, you know, humdrum or whatever. Um, yeah, I said humdrum. But it's like if that is the case and it's not you or your life, it could be that these are the energies that you're dealing with. Like you're dealing with friends and people that's bringing this type of energy to you. Um, but I do feel like you're going to be presented with a couple of people and you're going to have to make a choice with who you want to continue with. Um, I feel like you're trying to look long and hard. You're trying to see what is most valuable to you. Um, I feel like it's, it's just like some sort of important decision that you're having to make. And I feel like the answer is in front of you, but you're still looking for more like, You've done the pros and the cons, and it is one thing that is either going to be a deal, that's going to be a deal breaker, um, or that's going to cause you to make that decision between these two people, the fire sign um, or the water sign. Um, you know, I feel like you're waiting, though. Like, you're not in a hurry. You're not rushing to make this decision I feel like you've been being distant and cold or your partner has. Um, hmm. And then again, as that jealousy aspect, somebody from a distance is jealous and they're they're watching um, or they're waiting on a response here. Um, I feel like something's about to happen. Um, you know, and you're just going to have to wait to find out to see what it is. Like you're waiting for a sign. You're waiting for something to go right, extremely right, or something to go extremely wrong. It's almost like you're waiting for a miracle. Like you don't want to make this decision on your own. You want, like out of all the, you know, back and forth you've been having with yourself, you're still wanting a sign from God or, you know, like someone intervene and help you with this decision because I feel like it's tough for you. But I kind of feel like it's more so tough. I feel like, too, that you already know what you want, but you just, you're more concerned about hurting someone's feelings. Um, yeah. Yep. So, I mean, if you're going to have to be a bad guy, I mean, you, you have to follow your intuition. I mean, you can't just stay with someone or, you know, because you're afraid that you're going to hurt them. You know, you're going to have to let that person go. That's my two cents. Um, okay, so, yeah, this has been a general reading. For private readings, you would email me to matt76 at gmail.com. Uh, send it information description box uh, just click on a link it should be there uh, please leave your comments uh, like share subscribe you guys 
Uh, thank you so much for watching and many blessings to you.